Mic check, one, two, three. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Virtual Varsity. We are now officially in our second series of the program, and I'm excited to have you here this evening. Uh, I'm excited to have Marshall here this evening. Unfortunately, our regularly scheduled artist, Cortland Jabray, uh, lost his voice prior to the performance. Uh, we worked pretty hard this week on preparing for that show, but we're going to reschedule that for some time here in the coming months. Uh, so keep an eye out for that and an ear tuned in. As always, thank you for uh, supporting us. Thank you to Carbondale Tourism for uh, being a part of this and, and helping to make this happen, supporting all of our local musicians, supporting art here at the Varsity. Um, do you guys want to see what's going on in town right now? Things related to uh, sidewalk uh, consumption and, and dining and some reopenings and other activity going on around town, uh, please visit facebook.com slash Carbondale Tourism and show Carbondale Tourism some love. They're trying to keep all the ducks in the row uh, down there and show you what's going on uh, here in Carbondale. Uh, we don't have any pre-recorded stuff this evening. It's just going to be me and Marshall. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to this. It's going to be a hoot. Uh, maybe a little bit more talking uh, than some folks may like, but I promise we'll get around to the music at some point. Uh, without further ado, the man of the hour. Oh, there we go. Mr. Marshall Anderson. Marshall, how you doing tonight? Hi, I'm Wisconsin John. <laughs> How are you, Nathan? Indy, Indiana, Indiana Jones' long-lost cousin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact, I actually lost my voice, too, but I just don't have, like, a quality control department. <laughs> 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 so they, they, it just goes. Like, we're just going to go until there's no voice left at all. Yeah, my speakers do the weird stuff. Of course, it immediately starts. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> About so. What's well, not going to break? So, uh, what do you want me to do? Play some, play some tunes? Or yeah, yeah. Music's cool. I mean, that's. I think that's what people are tuning in for. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is a, a, a Lowell George tune. Every time I go to Mexico Zapping from Tucson to Conquery Out your pita on a pop Every kind of ring that's ever been made Still drive on those back roads so I don't get weighed Show me a 
sign Yeah, I'll be willing To be moving Said willing All right, that was a Laurel George tune. Nathan's up. He left. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't oh. leave, Marshall. I just auto adjusted the camera focus. I'm easily confused. <laughs> Need to hydrate. Maybe try some of this. Uh, no, pro- no product placement here. <laughs> I mean, you could talk about your parking lot beers. Yeah, uh, the Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know the P in Pabst Blue Ribbon stands for parking lot H. <laughs> <laughs> I normally just drink Ham's beer from the land of sky blue waters, which I trust. <laughs> but you know. This is America in 2020, and things are aged in par- parking lots, and that's just how it is. Another <laughs> song? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, another song be all right. This next thing is about the life of a musician. It's called Old Fashioned House. If you want to ask me about money, I don't know what it is. If I want to know how it feels being down and out, I guess it's a little bit. Always looking up and looking in. Is there anything else we talk about? You're planning for your future. Do you have an IRA? Yeah, I got this big gray nest inside a hollow and leg for me. My future family got this old fashioned house. Mommy, I'm no fast now. Millions, I won't put it on a shelf. And I bought it because it reminded me of myself. I was talking to my grandma today. Told her about my five year plan. As if I've got a five-year plan She says, you're looking at any women, seriously And well, I said yes, but I don't think In the way you mean you have a girlfriend Have you bought a car? You realize you could start a small business by Selling that guitar, I've got the hundred meter back pedal Competing on an amateur level Yeah, with all the other college dropouts I got myself this old-fashioned house Old-fashioned log cabin house Man, I want to put it on a boat Yeah, I stuck the out underneath my coat With a man I couldn't answer Now I'm learning not to answer When I don't know the answer Maybe someone in Chicago Is asking better questions Some people left puzzled I'm still filling in the blanks You got the woodwork You got the stage fright I've got my two cents And leave someone sleeping at night It's an old-fashioned house Me and Molly in an old-fashioned house Mint I want to open on a shelf And every pew does wonders for your health If every pew does wonders for your health Now this girl that I've been seeing On and off for a couple years She's got this way of always getting me to fall in love with her And then she goes back to Boston Writes me long letters about the moon Gotta ride her back soon She's like a wager Oh, no She's you a gambling man 
Cause I've got a hundred dollars says You'll be taking a home night Oh, put your wallet down I know I'm right It's old fashioned house Old fashioned luck having house Mint I want Oh, put it on a shelf Now here up here does wonders for your health So that air up here does wonders for your health yeah, the air up here does wonders for your health. Yo! We will survive. We will get by. We, I know, will survive. We. He, 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 I know goodbye. Play Wagon Wheel. This one goes out to Nathan Columbo. <laughs> Tell you one thing I can't stand <laughs> It's this bar and this cover band They try to fake their way The castle's made of sand Yeah, that's one thing I can't stand I'll tell you one thing I can't take It's that sound a woman makes About five seconds after Heart begins to break Yeah, that's one thing I can't take She should be back by now, but she ain't And I should be gone by now, but I can't Cause one of her friends is taking her in and giving her codeine One of her friends is taking her in and giving her codeine Yeah, yeah Sorry, I haven't used my gear in two months <laughs> Headed out south in the land of the pines From my way out in North Carolina Look down the road and pretty out I see headlights Yeah, I made it down the coast from 17 hours I picked me a book of dogwood flowers And I'm hoping for Raleigh, I'd see my baby tonight You better sing along, Nathan, you got your mic ready? Oh, God So rock, rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel Rock me, mama, any way you feel Come on now <laughs> Hey Rock me. I can't do this part. Rock me, mama, like the wind and rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. stars When I caught you behind the bar I guess that's how we keep on smiling We are a girl in my eyes as big as stars And it sounds funny when you say my name Like you're chewing on a foreign thing But you won't get to sleep to dawn If you don't rain Sounds so funny when you say my name She's back by now a chain I wish you'd come on 
tonight but you won't Cause one of my friends is taking you in and giving you codeine He's one of my friends is taking you in and giving you codeine He's one of my friends taking you in giving you codeine He's taking you in and giving you codeine Freebird next. <laughs> I'm just ruining this show. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know cities are burning down across the country, but I don't need to start with a varsity. I like the varsity. Uh, uh, and in all seriousness, thank you for having me, Wisconsin child. <laughs> no, thanks for having the, me. Uh, here, no, Nevada, I'm, I'm Nevada Smith. <laughs> Nevada Smith. Anyone remember Pharaoh's Tomb, the video game, early 90s? No? Cool. <laughs> I was going to do a song. I was going to do a John Prine song. Do a John Prine song. Well, now I don't want to. Right. <laughs> then don't. Joey Odin uh, messaged me about doing this song a while ago, so I figured I'd play it uh, tonight. So if he's home checking out Facebook, shout out Joey Odom, great singer, guitar player. Here's a, here's a prime tune for you, bud. Come home late and come home early. Come on, be when you're feeling small. You come on straight and you come on curly. Sometimes you don't come home at all. So what in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. You out there running just to be on the run I've got a heart that burns with a fever I've got a weary and a jealous mind How can a love that'll last forever You left so far behind So what in the world's come over you What in heaven's name have you done You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness out here running to be on the run Somebody mean and a dreadful feeling Cross the evil line of day How can we talk about tomorrow You ain't got one good word to say And what in the world's come over you What in heaven's name have you done You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness out here running just to be on a run Out here running just to be on the run Woo! Let's do some sad ones right in a row. I just got myself all down here. <laughs> so I'll do the saddest thing. I know. Let's play some love songs. I don't play many love songs, just mostly songs about uh, alcoholism and death. 
Uh, but yeah, let's do, let's do, uh, why not? I've held it all in, Lord knows I've tried. It's an awful wake in a country boy's life. Look in a mirror in total surprise At the air on my collar and the age in my head Amanda, light of my life Fate should have made you a gentleman's wife Amanda, light of my life They should have made you gentle and wise See, I should have brought Jeff Bradley with me tonight But I couldn't on account of COVID so you play a really tasty country solo right here. I think Waylon had a choir. I couldn't afford to bring my choir with me tonight. Also on account of the COVID. <laughs> oh wait, they're still singing. Well, it's a measure of people who don't understand All the pleasures of life In a hillbilly band I got my first guitar When I was 15 I've finally made 30 And I'm still wearing jeans A band of Light of my life, fate should make you a gentleman's wife. A man of light of my life, fate should make you a gentleman's wife. Nathan, another love song here? The most love songs. I've played this in ages. On account of, I got depression. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out mental health. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, let me remember how to play it. shows his bones of wind broke and stone in the sea and the sky are one I'm caught out of time my blood sings with wine I'm running naked in the sun there's God in the trees I'm weak in the knees and the sky is a painful blue I'd like to look around but honey all I see is you and I just want to hold you closer than I've ever held one before you say you've been twice a wife and you're through with life but honey who the hell's it for after 23 years you think i can find a way to let you know the smile just want to see the smiling face 45 years from now Summer city lights will soften the night till you think 
the air is clear And I'm sitting with the friends where 45 cents would buy another glass of beer He's got something to say, but I'm so far away I don't know who I'm talking to Cause you just walked in the door And honey, all I see is you And I just want to hold you closer Than I've ever had anyone before You've been twice a wife And you're through with life But honey, what the hell's it for? After 23 years, you think I could find a way to let you know somehow Cause I wanna see your smiling face 45 years from now Now alone in the lights on the stage every night I've been reaching out to find a friend Who knows all the words, sings so she's heard Knows how the stories end And maybe after the show she'll ask me to go home with her For the drink or two And her smile lights her eyes But honey, all I see is you Oh, and I just want to hold you closer than I've ever held anyone before Yeah, you've been twice a wife and you're through the life But honey, who the hell's it for? After 23 years, you think I could find a way to let you know somehow Cause I want to see your smiling face 45 years from now I just want to see your smiling face 45 years from now. Bring back down. There's midnight in the morning, a shadow in the sunrise, empty hard highway waiting just ahead. Or a backslide and love Got no place to call his own He's Looking for some strange lady's bed Leave your window open, darling Leave your ladder by the barn Be coming by this evening I'll be leaving with the dawn Now here's a truth for sermons From the friends who wish him well Who finds their words hard to buy And they're not hard to sell Any dreams about his own true love How he worshipped in her arms Dreams about strange women And their unfamiliar charms Leave your window open, darling Leave your ladder by the barn Coming by this evening I'll be leaving with the dawn Now he listens to old country songs of sing of love and pain Finds them he identifies with those sad refrain But his conscience sings a sad song like tears that never rhyme Darling, won't you take me back and try it one more time Leave you in open dark 
Leave your ladder by the barn Be coming by this evening I'll be leaving with the dawn Leave your window open, darling Leave your ladder by the barn I'll be coming by this evening in the morning I'll be gone It is it is a little bit higher, but it's struggling to transmit out to TVs and phones and stuff. So that, just leave that be. I've I've brought you up to where you need to be, and and we're we're in place. Thank you, sir. Happy to help. Let me think here. What's the time check? How long? Are, how long? How deep are we into this? Uh, we're uh, we're about half an hour in. So half an hour to go, and then we'll talk some. You need another beer. I do not, surprisingly. <laughs> this one goes out to Jeff Bradley. Pick me up, take me out home the town once again. Yeah, I'm so goddamn low. I've never been one to make friends. I just face from the girls, cause they don't understand how we get. But I'm tired of playing games. Placed all my cards on this bed you want Cause it's not really us and I don't really care if we're caught but We're getting high in a place you tore us into It's just a moment in time It's just a lifetime of her to get through Darkness had told me all the words I should say. Oh, the morning could wake me without washing you away. But I laid out and died, or just fall to my knees. Take me out on the town once again Cause I'm tired of making believe this would all end Show my face to your friends Tell them how you love me then Cause I'm tired of being hated being something I've never been yet If darkness had told me All the words I should say Who in morning could wake me Without washing you away Would I lay down and die Or fall to my knees just to pray 
Would I lay down and die Or fall to my knees just to pray that a different way than normal, but, you know, what are we thinking here? More sad songs? Or <laughs> Ooh, I mean, songs? We, could, we could do sad songs. We could do happy songs. We could just do a, how about a, dr- how about a drinking song? <laughs> sad songs it is. Let's see if I can get through a Lefty Frizzell tune here. I can't stand to be. It's not right. Is that the right key, Nathan? <laughs> Dude, I, I don't Your know anything about keys. Is not working. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand to see a good man go to waste. Never combs his hair, shaves his face. Man leads on wide over love, it's told a lie. It tears me up to see a grown man cry. So I never go around the mirror. Cause I can't stand to see me. Without you by my side Yeah, I never go around me for Yeah, I've got all the hates to hide I mean, it, it could be a little happier. What's that? I uh, said so it could be a little happier. All right, how about this one? <laughs> Why don't you love me anymore? He asked to see you leaving. I'm the only one who's ever stayed for you. She just shut the locked door. Yeah, you stood there not believing, just thinking of all the things they've been through. It's hard on where to find the house. The world is crumbling down. The ones who said they loved you have just kicked you to the ground And all you were supporting and nobody really cared You realize that the world doesn't care Don't you love me anymore? All you keep on thinking, oh, there's flashing lights and police all around. They 
you say you're coming with us, boy Here we know that you've been drinking Put your hands behind your back, face on the ground It's hard on where to find out The outer world is caving in When you're sleeping in the drunk tank First time you've ever been In a dreaming about a girl Who never really let you in With a broken heart and a belly full of gin Never stayed for you. She just shut and locked the door. He stood and not believing, just thinking of all those things they'll never do. It's a little way to find out how the world is caving in. When you're sleeping in that drunk tank, first time you've ever been. You're dreaming about a girl who never really let you in. With a broken heart and a belly full of gin. With a broken heart and a belly full of gin. Trying to uplift Woo. you a bit there. I, I feel lifted. Yes. Lift that <laughs> I uh, I should do another one about alcoholism. Probably. It's about my old uh, my old boss. <laughs> you Tom sure Milan. you don't want me to go get you another beer? Shout out Tom Milan. I think we're Facebook friends. Not that I think you're <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know how the new algorithm works. Who knows if he'll see it? But I know he doesn't have a minivan that can get to Illinois right now. So. I also feel his struggle. I can't get to New York. <laughs> Not that I want to. <laughs> it's rough there right now. He was a hopeful son of a scientist. His life spread out before him. Like the million stars in his father's sky He did all right in sport He won in sport He fell in love at 24 By 26 was a father to a son Now he's a hometown hero In a bar and key He ain't been sober now in nearly 20 years But a smile at you, shake your hand His next beer's always holding back the tears And his marriage failed despite his tries Two more kids couldn't help their ties enough to keep her happy by his side Found another man and he found beer She's long gone but he's still here Pounding back the whiskey with local boys Cause he's a hometown hero And a bar and king He ain't been sober now in nearly 20 years but a smile at you, shake your hand, his next beer's all in soap, back the tears. Yes, he's a hometown hero and a barroom king. He been sober now in nearly 20 years. But a smile at you, shake your hand, his next beer's all in soap. Back the tears. Woo. Thank you, hometown hero. Man, it's weird trying to remember lyrics after not performing for a month. <laughs> That's, uh, <clears throat> tell you what, I should do a song by uh, another local songwriter here, uh, Old Moose. Old Moose, the Old Moose. The Old Moose. Leo Moose. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this one is another breakup song because 
We need those in these trying times. Uh, this one's a little more positive. <laughs> and uh, deals with some stuff that is uh, now considered an essential business. So this is for uh, this one goes out to Illinois as a whole. Well, I smoked an ounce of weed the morning you left me. I felt so good, I seemed to buy me gin. I played the big Lebowski on my TV. I prayed, honey, you would not come home again. Well, I thank you for that breakup text on Twitter. All those kiss off emails on my phone. Ah. Everybody tells me I should be better. Well, I feel quite at home in Stone Alone. Turn down all the lights and crank the volume. The Z valves and the R tubes going at dark. That old hatch brought that I stashed inside my bedroom. It was glowing red each time it caught a spark. Yeah, I thank you for that breakup text on Twitter. And all those kids off emails on my phone. Oh, no, everybody tell me I should be better. But I feel quite at home in Stone Alone. I feel quite at home in Stone Alone. The next morning I had bourbon shots for breakfast. And I bought my bill of bone all night long. I watched Joe Prize in a history show on Belfast. And I started writing lyrics to this song. Yeah, I thank you for that breakup text on Twitter. All those kiss off emails on my phone. Everybody tell me I should be bitter. Oh, yeah, but I feel quite at home getting stoned alone. Did I feel quite at home in stone alone? Woo. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let me think here. What's the time check now? Uh, you got 13 minutes. Mm. All right, that's one Grateful Dead song coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I am going to tune my guitar, though. Ben Fusen always says, I tune because I care. In my case, that's not true, but in his case, it is. <laughs> I tune because I have OCD. And I also haven't changed my strings since before the quarantine, so things are getting pretty weird with my guitar. All right, so that's the songs I know. We're going to start again from the top. <laughs> Nathan told me he was going to sing a couple at the beginning of the set, and I, I don't know what happened to him. So, I forgot the lyrics to Rubber Ducky. I'm going to do something very depressing because I think it's a powerful song. I learned this one from my friend's little brother. It's a Jason Isbell tune called Dress Blues. Flags on the side of the highway and scripture and grocery store signs. Maybe 18 was too early, maybe 30 or 40 is too. Did you get your chance to make peace with a man 
before he sent out an angel for you. And mamas and grandmas love you. Yeah, that's all they know how to do. But you never plan on the balls the sand or sleeping in your dress blues. Your wife said this all would be funny You came back home in a week You turned 22 and all Celebrate you in a bar or a tent by the creek There it is Sorry. <laughs> Lost my voice. Darn it. I kind of suspected that might happen if I tried to do it. <laughs> you can always find your voice in the bottom of a bottle. Well, I can find a lower range. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, also not shocking. I'll tell you what, dude. I'm going to have to switch over to Chris Christopherson then. Still might not be back. We'll see what happens. Luke, uh, to the Luke, viewers. I'm trying here. <laughs> Luke did whiskey and you on uh, the last show, so just heads up if you're trying to figure out which. Who did? Oh wait, sorry. Not. I, I was thinking of a different artist. Chris Christopherson did not sing that song. <clears throat> Ignore me. Go, dude. I, I'll <laughs> try to go. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this might be it, folks. <laughs> Apologies. These short notice shows are great. <laughs> well, I woke up Sunday morning, no way to hold my head didn't hurt. The bed and beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad, so I don't want more for dessert. And I fumbled through my closet, through my clothes, found my cleanest, dirty shirt. And I washed my face and combed my hair, stumbled down the stairs to meet the day. Yeah, I'd smoked my brain the night before on cigarettes and songs I'd been picking. I lit my first and went to a young boy at a cave he was kicking. Somewhere down the block I caught the smell of some horns, Sunday frying chicken. Yeah, and it took me back to something I'd lost some hours somewhere along the way. On a Sunday morning sidewalk Wishing the Lord that I was stoned It is your something, it is Sunday Makes the body feel long And there's nothing short of dying Half as long as the sand that sleeping city sidewalk Sunday morning coming down In the park I saw the daddy The laughing little girl He was swinging And I stopped beside a Sunday school and listened to the songs they were singing. 
Somewhere far away I caught sing a lonely church bell and ring The ended echo through the canyons Like the disappearing dreams of yesterday On a Sunday morning sidewalk Wishing the Lord that I was stoned There's just something in a Sunday That makes a body feel long When there's nothing short of dying After the lonesome has a sound The other sleeping city sidewalk and Sunday morning coming down. All right, what's the time check now? A couple more songs, one or two more? One, one or two more, your choice. All right. I'll just do this one. This is about as political as I ever get, so. I haven't played this in like five years, but it seems applicable now. John Gorka tune. I walk where the bottles break and the black top still comes back for more. I walk where the bottles break and the black top still comes back. I live where the neighbors yell and the music calms up through the floor. I live where the neighbors yell and the music wakes me up. Like beyond the playground fence, all that serious is basketball. Like beyond the playground fence, all that serious. Four blocks from the steel mill blast, I paint my claim upon the wall. Four blocks from the steel mill blast, I paint my claim. By end of the south side drive, it's a common thought to call the cops. Further west has been gentrified, they turn biker bars into flower shops. I kind of miss those Harley guys, I never did a body harm. Mostly like to drink and shout, and flash the pictures on their arms. Oh. Happens when the money comes, the wild and poor get pushed aside. Happens when the money comes, the poor get pushed. Buyers come from somewhere else, they raise the rent so you can't hide. Buyers come from out of state and they raise the rent. By low, so high, they get rich and you still lie. Money talks, people jump, ask how I low life Donald, what's his name? Yeah, who cares? Cause I don't wanna know what his girlfriend she doesn't wear. It's a shame the people at work wanna hear about this kind of jerk. Ah, 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 ah. Saints, no people just all they wanna feel like they count on a ride in their own car. People aren't saints, people just are they wanna feel like they count on a ride in their own car. I just wanna make enough to buy this town and keep it rough. I just wanna make enough to buy this town. Buy low, so high, and get rich and you still die. Money talks, people jump, ask how I low life Donald, what's his name? Yeah, who cares? Cause I don't wanna know what his girlfriend she doesn't wear. It's a shame the people at work wanna hear about this kind of jerk. Ah, 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 ah. Bottles break 
And the black top still comes back for more. I'll play the bottles break, and the black top still comes back. I'll live where the neighbors yell, and the music comes up to the floor. I'll live where the neighbors yell, and the music keeps me up. Very good. All right, thank you. Sorry for train wrecking on that Isabel soon. Nah, man, it happens. Something to I be mean. said for uh, New Orleans crawfish bread. No. <laughs> hey, man, listen, you got the you got the call at eleven thirty last night to do this show. Something I'm just said, appreciative that you showed it up beforehand. <laughs> uh, you want to do that thing where we talk now? Yeah. Do I go to the bathroom first or later? <laughs> later. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep you okay? your timid. You want you want another beer? No. No, you sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. Um, pull up a pull up a stool. I mean, it doesn't have to be that one. We the one behind the curtain over there. Uh, we got stools galore. <laughs> we got we got all the stools. Hey, can you take the microphone off of that stool if you want to? That's uh, you go for it, man. Say hi. Say hi to the camera while you're there. <laughs> all right. Uh, can you turn the reverb off? Oh, that reverb. I mean, it's, yeah, I would say that was that reverb. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Marshall Anderson, uh, everything you ever wanted to know about him that uh, you didn't hear as we jaw jacked and talked too much in between the songs, uh, we're going to find it out. You know, you really let me down. You said you were going to talk a lot, and here I am having no songs. Yeah, that's that's okay. I got to, I got yelled at for talking too much, so that's yeah, what that's I do. Fair. <laughs> I usually do. That's <laughs> It's my, it's my thing, man. It's the only thing I know how to do. I can't, I can't Stop. sing. I can't dance. I can't plug computers into. I can't shut up. One another. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's, it's the only thing I know how to not do. <laughs> All right. So what's cracking, uh, man? When did you get to Carbondale? When did you like move here? Yeah, I've. Uh, I've Why did you move time, here? Uh, during my life, <laughs> I would like to say it's just over the quarantine, but it's it's just in general. Uh, oh, nine years ago, ten years ago, maybe. What would you just like throw a dart at a map and uh, it landed? Oh, oh, so yeah, I got a backstory. So my dad lived here. He worked at SIU uh, okay. for a spell, and uh, I was looking to quit my day job and play music professionally, as you do. That worked um, out. And luckily, I have a dad who uh, didn't tell me to, you know, get a job, you hippie. And uh, I was thinking either here's Austin, Texas, and. Um, he uh, was going on sabbatical, and he's like, hey, man, you can stay in my house for, like, six months. And I was like, ding, 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 we have a winner. Can you bring, can you bring that mic just a little bit closer to you? Absolutely. There you How's go. That? <laughs> no. I can also make it louder. Would you like it louder? No, no, I just made you louder. Oh. <laughs> okay, perfect. Because ev- everybody has control over the soundboard this evening. We have, now, we have now plugged a soundboard into a soundboard into a mixer into a computer, and that's what you're hearing at home this evening. <laughs> Or possibly not hearing, depending on what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's right. Hopefully, it cut out right here. at that one point. <laughs> <laughs> just, boom! Like that was the only dead yeah, spot. Was the part where your voice just stopped working? Just stopped working. <laughs> yeah, that was terrifying. <laughs> so, have you always been a musician? Like, has this just been a thing, or like, did you pick this not up? Not a good one. <laughs> I didn't ask if you were a good one. Some Nobody's worried about you being not. a good musician, uh, Marshall. We're just concerned about like how long you've been doing this for. I started playing piano when I was five. Um, and that didn't go great. Uh, I started playing drums when I was uh, lower 11. That didn't go something great. Something like that. And then <laughs> went better than piano, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh. And then I started playing guitar when I was 15, uh, but didn't really take it seriously until about a decade later. So so you're 37? I don't know. I don't know 15 how to count. plus 10? <laughs> He's 37. <laughs> yes. He's the prettiest 37-year-old I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> so, like, why? I mean, just, was there any other hobby or interest or whatever? It was. I mean, it was yeah. just all music? No, 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 no. I was always bad at music. I was always really good at sports. Um, really? And I didn't really care about sports. So uh, I got into some pretty weird sports <laughs> because I didn't care about the regular ones, so I did kayak racing. I did uh, diving. 
I was a captain of the diving team in high school. Probably the only six foot five diver you'll ever see. <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> Is that a thing? Do like, do like divers need to be small, not large? Uh, I guess they don't need to be, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. I would have. What school? Like, there aren't a lot of schools that I'm familiar with that have diving teams. Uh, shout out State High, <laughs> State College, <laughs> Pennsylvania. You may know it from Penn State and the Jerry Sandusky scandal. That is how we are known generally these okay. days. Well, we're just going to move along from that subject. Um, yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> it's it was a dark you know, period. God bless. In State College history. Oh, why'd you, why'd you stay? I mean, so your dad so your dad gives you the keys to the house, and he's like, here, son, I'm going on sabbatical. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. And then you were just here? From uh, then well, on? I got plugged into the Bone Dry River Band, which is pretty cool. That was his band of, oh, almost 10 years at that point. Well, not 10 years, probably, but eight years at that, that point, maybe. Should we talk about like who your dad is, I guess, then? It's like, Old Moose. It, oh, oh, yeah, the Old Moose that the you did the song for. You know? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I do, but I mean, we're... But t- yeah, I got plugged into his band, and the thing is, he played mostly banjo in that band. And so they go, cool, so you're playing banjo. And I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> like I can't banjo. play banjo, so I was um, I was attempting to play banjo in this band. It was a lot of fun, um, and then their uh, their lead guitarist actually ended up leaving. And uh, I remember distinctly, um, my dad's was like, "Oh no, we need to find a new lead player. He's back at this point, point. Um, and uh, I'm still playing banjo badly. He's like playing acoustic guitar. And he goes, "Oh no, we need to find a lead player." And I was like, "Hey man, like I, I haven't seen you in like." I don't know, a long time. I was like, I can play some lead. And he goes, no, we need to get a real lead player. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, man, just give me a chance. And so he, he uh, let me play on his Les Paul one gig. <clears throat> losing my voice again. <coughs> and uh, I am losing it. And um, we'll, we'll keep it short. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I just have, like, pollen in my throat. Um, so he let me play the Les Paul. And after the gig, he said, man, you can really play guitar. I was like, I, I told you I could play lead. Like this was your dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He hadn't heard me in a long time. <clears throat> so uh, then I became the lead player for Bone Driver Band for quite a while. And now and now, what's the band that you're I currently lead play for? lead for a band called Lone Howl. Um, and it's probably the most fun I've ever had playing a band. It's uh, no disrespect to any other band I've been in. I've loved all of them, but this is... It's it's kind of a special thing. I think it's a lot of fun. It's really like an ensemble band. Nice. What uh, what's the what's the coolest thing? I mean, you guys they don't let me sing how did in that band? You can see why. Do what? I said they don't let me sing in that band. You can see why. Because <laughs> yeah, three songs in, your voice is just gonna go away. Just. I mean, is that you? When we did the when we did the the band tribute, the last the, waltz, the last waltz. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Was that? I mean, was that the coolest thing that you guys have done as? Lone Howl. To this. That's possibly the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay. Um, that was a dream come true for me personally. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> who even knows if they heard the pop on the other end of the screen? Um, but yeah, it was a dream come true for me personally. Uh, the band is one of my favorite bands. Robbie Robertson is one of my favorite guitar players of all time. Uh, so to get to sort of play that role in the representation of the Last Waltz performance was pretty awesome. Nice. Nice. Well, I'm glad we. But we've had some cool moments as Lone Howl. We got to do some cool stuff. We got to actually perform as the band uh, at Summer Sundown Music Fest. Shout out Poss Music Works uh, in Effingham. You're all on that camera there. If you happen to like be sending a direct shout out to somebody, shout out you too. <laughs> Whoever's down there, people in Cairo. They'll never know. Shout out Poss Music Works. <laughs> um, thanks for having us, man. That was a blast. Uh, we got to uh, perform as the band there and learn a couple of their more obscure ones that weren't on the last waltz that people never cover. And so that was a real challenge and a lot of fun. Have you guys ever thought about just becoming a The Band cover band? No. no absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. We're trying to avoid that sort of stigma. Um, but it was cool. And, and, and that gig, we got to go on after Amy Helm. It was Levon Helm's daughter, the drummer from the band, Levon Helm. Nice. And she was phenomenal. So it was, it was a really cool time. How uh, how did we like? We've been doing this for years together now, like this varsity stuff. Yes. How did I like? I don't even remember how you got involved. 
Oh, and then how uh, Mike got involved and how like it was it all just essentially Gary just got tired of dealing with all their I, crap. Well, I was I like an email to Kara uh, when they were designing the upstairs sound system. Okay, saying if you need, you know, somebody to consult and how to do it, and they ended up uh, going to somebody else. And his then, name is Phil Bankister. Yeah, and um, <laughs> then after we love you too, Phil. Um, she was like, wait, did you say you knew how to use one of these mixing boards? We need more people because they, you know, schedule conflicts and stuff. And I was like, yeah. So that's how I ended up doing some gigs here. Nice. And then I saw the big room and I was like, oh man, I'm going to build a giant sound system out of garbage and try to do a giant show in there. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and it worked. And hundreds of pounds of garbage later. <laughs> yes, hundreds we of pounds are. of garbage later. I uh, was able to do the last waltz, and since then we've done some of my favorite, uh, some of my favorite bands, the Hoot and Hollers we did in there, Sarah Shook and the Disarmers. Yeah. I almost played a Sarah Shook song tonight, but I have no idea what my voice is doing. So. My uh, my my like boss is boss now. Like came to that show, and like when I was interviewing Sarah for Shook, this jo- yeah, for the Sarah Shook cool. show, it's like all right, cool. So like my boss is cool if he's interested in like. Yeah. This type of stuff, good, good like he's got music. taste, he's got interest, and whatever. So that that worked out well. Yeah, you should definitely judge people for that <laughs> positively in this case. Oh, I definitely do that. What do you? Uh, why are you so tan, Marshall? Uh, that's the that's the flavor I come in. <laughs> <laughs> outside, um, I'm yeah, I'm I, bathed I in in, get... in in the outside. I uh, yeah, I get tan when I go in the sun. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> This is the worst interview so far. What do you mean? We had we have so much fun when we're not on camera, and then when we're on camera, it's just like all oh, the, the air. It's my fault. Um, it's my no, fault. I'm I, a bad I, entertainer, I, I'm Marshall. Because I've been working on motorcycles in the sun. We've been building a, a chopper. My friend Adam and I, he's got a shop in uh, Cambria, Illinois. And uh, he texted me a few months ago, and he's like, hey, want to build a crazy chopper out of trash? We have a recurring theme of making things out of trash. <laughs> um and I wrote it actually for the first time today that wasn't just like down the street and back. Uh-huh. I wrote it the other day and uh the uh the brakes went out at about fifty miles an hour. Well, that's <laughs> and so I just coasted to an nice stop. <laughs> and then and then I finally get it back to the shop. I had to like ride to a Casey's and fill the, the tire with air and then uh rode back to the shop and just as I was like getting to the shock, the uh, the handlebar risers fell my handlebars fell off. That was when? Two days ago. Two days ago. Well, thank goodness you didn't. You wouldn't have been able to save my rear tonight. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> But we wrote it today, and the only thing that happened is a battery overheated and tried to explode. So only thing. Hopefully no, by but... tomorrow, which is Blessing of the Bikes, we'll be able to ride that. To, oh, man. Uh, tomorrow. Wow, it really is already Blessing of the Bikes, isn't yeah. it? I didn't realize it was... It was drive through breath Blessing of the Bikes on account of the COVID. I mean, isn't it already... It's always been kind of a ride through. I mean, but now it's just like you ride up... You make I don't know. I only ever go, go to fuzzies. That's how okay. far I make it. <laughs> and I stop. <laughs> yes. And, and I and I drink and then I call a cab home because that's the responsible that thing is. to do. Yes, Marshall. <laughs> well, Uber. You can't get a cab from Cobb and get out of here, Nathan. <laughs> the wildest part is being able to get an Uber in Cobb. Oh, it's too. only like twenty two dollars. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. I once gave an eleven hundred dollar Uber ride to Chicago. Have I told you that story before? No, do tell. <laughs> God, now's not the time for it. I'll tell it later, but it's uh Did it's you a get good paid? One. Huh? They paid you eleven hundred dollars? I mean they didn't I mean the app paid me and I took their money for and Uber. I don't I know actually if they tried had much to work for Uber when they first came to Carbondale. Yeah. And uh I went on the website, I was like, This is gonna be awesome, I'm gonna get some spending cash. And then I realized that you need like a real person's car. <laughs> I was just gonna drive around in a big blue van. Yeah, just... I was gonna put some like love seats in the back. <laughs> Like seventies style type of Uber. No, they want they want safety measures and uh, yes, you know, airbags and uh, seat belts. And a van that size is a safety measure. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> One time I was uh, I was uh, setting up for a show, uh, County Graves show at uh, in PKs right down the road. Yeah, and uh, another van ran into my van while I was unloading sound equipment. And I, I kind of thought all vans were created equal. Not the case. <laughs> His van was just destroyed. <laughs> and uh, he gets out. He's like, oh, man, did I hurt your van? Are you mad? And I was like, no, it looks normal. I've got to get to work. <laughs> I would get home safely if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Yes. You want a, you want a better van? Like, here no, you go. you can't give away the van, man. <laughs> no, I'm not asking you to give away the van. I'm just. Oh, yeah, no, because I, I got that one-ton van, man, with a 
high suspension, so the bumper goes right over other bumpers. <laughs> and then it just wrecks from there. Yes. Uh, yeah, what uh, battering ram? How many how many different like gig vehicles have you owned over the course of your music playing endeavors? Oh boy. Back in New York, I just had a station wagon. We got away with some pretty big gigs with a station wagon. And then after a, a while, I, uh, when I stopped running my first sound company back in New York and started working as an admissions counselor, I uh, sort of decommissioned the Subaru for a bit. You help people get into college? Yeah. <laughs> and um, I bought a BMW convertible, as you do. <laughs> like, and, yeah, uh, why not? Well, I traded a Volvo for it. Um, Did you trade like the Volvo like station wagon Volvo? No, I traded a Vol- uh, really nice Volvo action S seventy Turbo oh, all wow, wheel okay. drive. Yeah, and I put a boost controller on it, cranked it up to like three hundred horsepower, so you could do four wheel donuts as you probably want to do if you're a Volvo buyer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're the right kind of Volvo buyer, there are two kinds of yeah. Volvo dri- <laughs> buyers. Uh, one of them I, does not drive like that, and uh, it one was a total lemon do. though. It's like anytime anything broke, no one would work on it. Um. So I traded it for this BMW convertible, and uh, I remember picking up a couple of miscellaneous sound gigs after that, where I had to get like sound equipment to campus. In that, and I just <laughs> had to put the top down. Just had like stacks of speakers, like five feet above the top of the seats. <laughs> it's pretty sketchy. No, not me. <laughs> Would never. Not once. Not never. <laughs> <laughs> you. uh have you been holding up not playing a bunch of music? I mean, or have you? I mean, you said you've been, like, recording and stuff. Yeah, I've been messing around in the studio a bit. I feel like not as much as I should be. I haven't been as productive as I should have been in quarantine. Um, what is what is? But I've been eating a lot of cheese. Um, building, building a lot of motorcycles, I guess. Uh, and I, all I, the motorcycles. I, I am fortunate in that I got to go back to work at my other job fairly early on in the process, so I haven't been hurting as bad as some people have. So Good. I'm grateful for that. Good. And what do you and what do you what do you do? Uh, I've been ways? working for a company out of Creole Springs called okay. Ozark Koala Ecosystems. If any of y'all are watching it, uh, please disregard the part where I can sing. Um, and we do uh, we do forestry work mostly, um, like timber stand improvement. We do uh, uh, like controlling invasive plants. That type of thing. You come up on the mic again. You keep you keep falling Controlling back. Controlling invasive plants. <laughs> I'll be doing that Monday. Controlling them. You just you just got an interesting background of like life. You've lived you've lived. I've done a, a lot of absurd things. <laughs> I remember when I first moved here, people didn't believe me. They're like, "You're making stuff up." Because <laughs> Carbon Hills, just one of those places where either yeah. people do things. That are unbelievable, or they tell you things that you shouldn't believe. (laughs) I was a a professional jouster for quite a while. (laughs) Stop it. I'm serious. (laughs) Then tell me more. Yeah, uh, you know, I I get to ride a horse and carry a lance and joust and fight people with swords. Yeah. How does one become a professional jouster? Uh, So I went to school with uh, uh, another person who ended up working for the jousting company, and uh, when they were looking for more people to joust, she knew I had a background in horse riding. And uh, I was a theater major with her, and she was How like, did you have a background in horse riding? I started riding when I was like five years old because I wanted to be like John Wayne. Okay. And uh, my parents didn't know what to sign me up for, so they signed me up for English ring jumping. <laughs> and uh, But I had like fringy chaps. Like a, like a you Daniel, are a fringy chap. Daniel fringe. Boone type of leather jacket situation going on because <laughs> uh, I wanted to be John Wayne, uh, but I was just doing English style riding, so that's how I grew up riding. That's int- okay. So jousting company. Yeah, and then yeah. I ended up working with the jousting company and traveling all over the country jousting. How long did you do that for? About ten years. No, ten years you jousted. Oh, you think about it. Uh, give was, or take. Was this like an hey, every now years. and then thing eight you years. would joust? It wasn't like well, by a- the end. By the end, at first it would be like a whole summer at a time, like a whole run, or uh, like a whole like a month and a half of shows all at once. Like I'd fly out to Connecticut, say, and just be there for like a month and a half, or drive out depending on the situation at the time interesting all the i just I never stop learning new stuff about you know how, to, yeah. how much we're around each other yeah I it's think, great well my whole thing is like when people are like you want to do this i'm like yep <laughs> i just don't say no 
That's so. that's good. I mean, that's that's how you get into both that's awful into and trouble. amazing situations. Yeah. Somebody's like, hey, you want to participate in this bad idea that I think sounds good? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, you want to you want to play the show at the varsity with zero preparation whatsoever? Absolutely. And about, and about you know you maybe give or language. take eighteen hours lead time. Speaking my language, Nathan. <laughs> Sprockency Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. You got anything else you want to say? Because I, I'm, I mean, I'm just I just, I just want to say uh, thank you for having me. Thanks to the varsity and thanks to anyone who tuned in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you got some entertainment out of it. Uh, I know I did. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Thank it's you. <laughs> it's a good time. Glad to be here. Um, for those out there, uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for coming in on short notice again, Marshall. Thank you to Carbondale Tourism for helping to make this happen. Um, looking forward to the next couple shows that we've got coming up next week. Tall Paul. Week after that, Jenny Johnson. Week after the week after next, we've got Matt Martino. So we've got a pretty nice. solid lineup uh, coming up here in the next couple of days. And then on June 27th, just keep tuned in. We may have something a little special in store uh, for the Varsity's 80th birthday, uh, commissioned in 1940. On June 27th, uh, the varsity will now turn 80 years old. Uh, Thanks so much, folks. Have a great night.